Hello and welcome to the video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. Today I bring you the awesome news that the Raspberry Pi Foundation has just released a brand new flavor of Raspberry Pi. With the same form factor as the Pi Zero, the same 1GHz processor, but now with added wireless LAN and Bluetooth, say hello to the Pi Zero Wireless. So what's today's launch all about? Well, the Raspberry Pi Zero was released back in 2015 as a stripped down version of the Raspberry Pi Model B. Small in size with both mini HDMI and micro USB, the original Pi Zero retailed for just $5, making it one of the most affordable, fully fledged computers ever made. Due to its tiny 65mm by 30mm footprint, the Pi Zero was a roaring success and is loved by makers worldwide. I even made an electric skateboard with one. Now the new Pi Zero Wireless, known as the Pi Zero W, is the latest branch on the Raspberry Pi tree. It has the exact same dimensions as the first Pi Zero and looks very similar. However, the folks at the Raspberry Pi Foundation have listened to the community and kitted out the new Pi with much desired wireless LAN and Bluetooth 4.1. Retailing at just $10, let's have a look at the internet enabled Pi Zero W. So at the heart of the Pi Zero W, you'll find a familiar single core ARM11 Broadcom BCM2835 processor, boasting a clock speed of 1 GHz. Stacked on top of that is 512MB of LP DDR2 SD RAM, which should keep things ticking over pretty nicely. As with the Pi Zero, the W features a micro SD card slot for the operating system, as well as a mini HDMI port for full HD 1080p output video and two micro USB ports, one for 5 volt power and the other for data. The W also features a mini CSI port for connection to the Raspberry Pi camera and an unpopulated GPIO header for interfacing with electronics, robotics, etc. But what is that shiny chip next to the processor? Well, that is the new wireless networking and Bluetooth chip, and it's actually the same one that can be found on the Raspberry Pi 3. It's called the BCM43438. It's a combo wireless chip, and it offers 802.11n wireless LAN, Bluetooth 4.1, as well as Bluetooth low energy. Interestingly, it is connected to this delta shape, and that's actually a PCB antenna that the engineers at Raspberry Pi are licensing off of a company called ProAnt. From discussions with the team and my own testing, you can rest assured that the wireless range is just as good as that of the Pi 3 and is comparable to your smartphone. As with the normal Pi Zero, the back of the board is flat for mounting and has no features apart from a few logos and a little bit of writing. Raspberry Pi CEO Eben Upton thinks that the wireless capability adds an interesting angle as it allows you to stretch the single USB port further because there's now no need to use a Wi-Fi dongle. The new Pi Zero W is sure to go down well with people wanting to build IoT and connected projects as well as people who desire a low-cost, reliable Linux box. Booting the Pi Zero W up with the latest version of Pixel provides the familiar Raspberry Pi interface with no visible changes. Connecting to a Wi-Fi network is as easy as ever, and then you are free to do whatever you want. The new Raspberry Pi Zero Wireless is on sale right now for the price of $10, or your currency equivalent. If your project requires Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity, the Zero W is a must, and for not that much more money, it is definitely worth it. If you're not fussed by this wireless capability, then don't worry, however, as the same old Raspberry Pi Zero will still be available for the same old price of $5. What are you going to be doing with your new Pi Zero W? Let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I've been the Raspberry Pi Guy, and until next time, bye.